Okay, if you go into home, let's do file new. If you go into design, click on slide size and you can custom the slide size here. So I believe Pinterest is um, two by three. So the width would be what's it, two. So like six inches by nine inches. That's a two by three. So that would be a Pinterest pin. So you can create all your Pinterest pins on here on PowerPoint, which is pretty cool. So let's just let's just create one just for for the fun of it. All right. So um, we'll take a picture. Where's my pictures? Oh, my stock images. You can send that to the back. Um, ten crafts. Let's just do ten alone. It's normally what I do, just for fun. I'm making a pin image for you guys. Ten crafts for um, preschoolers. And we're going to make this a little bigger, uppercase. Make that just a slightly smaller. And then make this bigger again. Make the box bigger and then make the text bigger. Sometimes I like to split each line into its own um, text box so I can change the, um, the height easier. Okay, you guys are just going to see that I really, really love PowerPoint. And one more thing that I'm going to add to this, a couple more things. Easy. I have one little fancy font in my PowerPoint. And change that one's color. You can also use the eyedropper so you can go through on your image and see if there's any color that you like on your image to make the text and the image look nicely together and then we can send this one to the front. Sorry now I'm just working here for you guys or in front of you guys but I hope this helps. Um, we'll make preschoolers again like I said have some red colors or some warmer colors in your palette. People like warmer colors. It grabs their attention. There you go. And we'll just select all that and make that here. And then lastly, we'll add our blog URL. And that will be somewhere you can put it at the bottom. just so that people can find you. So then what you can do, instead of downloading this from PowerPoint as um, a PDF, you're downloading it as, you're saving it as, which is the same thing as download, um, pins. And you can save it as, where do you go? JPEGs or PNGs. Let's do PNG and click on, we're gonna save this to my desktop again so I don't forget it. And you can click on all slides or just the one that you are working on. So for now, we're just going to click on all slides. And then we can go to my desktop. And it's saved all the slides within that deck to little PNG files. And there it is. See? Wasn't that really like kind of easy to create a pin image using PowerPoint? Do you guys like it? Let me know if you like this. Let me know if you would ever create your pin images in PowerPoint or what do you use to create your pin images? So I use Canva, PicMonkey, PowerPoint, um, pretty much anything, depending on what mood I'm in at the moment. I recommend creating multiple pin images for each post because you never know which pin image is going to take off. So since we started on that, let's just, for example, say, this is one post, about 10 easy crafts for preschoolers. We can go into our second one, delete the background, and insert a new picture for it, something that looks a little different. I'll take this one, and we'll send it to the back. We can even make it a little larger here. There you go. So just like that, just by replacing the um, 
the background image, we have a whole new pin image. And I can just change the colors a little bit. So now already, that was five seconds and I have a whole new pin image. Um, what we could do here is we can crop it. You can take one image for um, that you have on your blog and then you can crop it and make it look like a whole new image. So let's crop it to that. And then we make it big again. Again, same title. Um, and then this time we'll just say simple. So something else to grab the reader's attention. And maybe instead of this font, maybe that could be a hard font for people to read. We'll use an actually a simple font to describe a simple craft. And we can drag that there. And just like that, you have a third pin image. How easy is that, right? Like that's, that's one of the reasons why I like PowerPoint. I wish I had an affiliate program because, man, I promote them a lot. And then lastly, we can take this image and insert another picture. Let's see if we have another craft one. This one's kind of fancy. Send to back. And this would be our nice feminine one. Looks pretty. And say, for example, so your, your text is taking up too much of your um, image size or it's overlapping too much, what I would do is put a little box around it. And then we'll just send this one to back and then send this one to back again so that this one is just behind the text. And what you can do with this is then have the text easily stand out. So what we're going to do is select all the text. There you go. So within, what is it, five minutes, I have three different pin images. So you can pin each one of these to Pinterest and then get more traffic to one blog post. So three or four marketing images for one blog post. So how you can easily then file save as, we'll save it to my desktop. So I remember where it is. Pin images example. And we're gonna save it as PNG, right? And I click on all slides, okay. So we're going to go to all slides and right here, there you go. We have all four pin images for your new post. Pretty quick and sleek. I'm just here to help you guys save as much time. There you go. Cool. How cool was that? Ah, oh, that was awesome. I am so proud of myself. All right. So that's the last tip I'm going to give you guys for today. 